Hello and good morning, my friend. My name is Stephen Adegoke. I bring good tidings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of heaven and earth. Happy New Week. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I hope you had a very, very fantastic weekend. God bless you. This is the word of God to you this week. And I'm going to be reading from the book of Psalm 138, from verse 1 and 2. And then I'll jump to the last verse. I read, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above thy name. For God has magnified his word above his name. Beloved, I want to tell you something. Yesterday, we had a very fantastic time in the presence of God to appreciate God because it was the first Sunday in the month of July. That's the beginning of the second and last half of the year. And we took our time to praise, to acknowledge God in all that he has brought us through from January till June. Now, this is the catch. It is not your power. It is not your mind. It is not your doing that you are alive today. Today is Monday. It is not your power that you slept last night and you are awake this morning. There are thousands and thousands and one people that slept just as you last night. But there are no more today. Just a few days ago, I heard in the news that a building collapsed in Miami. Just same yesterday, I heard in the news there was flood that swept a whole building, buildings in Japan. But you and I, we are alive this morning. It is not your power. It is not because you are holy. It is not because you are special. But because God in his infinite mercy has decided to bless you. Has decided to keep you. One thing I can tell you, one thing you can give to God is to give him things with all your heart. Look at what David said. He says, I would preach thee with my whole heart. That means God must have done wonderful and wonderful things for him that he could not even comprehend. That's why he decided, he decided to worship God, to praise God with all his heart. And guess what? Because he could realize that God honors his word more than his name that means whatever comes out of the mouth of god he will always fulfill god had promised david he said i will keep you he said i will preserve you and here he is looking back and seeing the goodness of god in his life and the same thing god has promised you and i that even from the first of january till the end of this year he is going to keep us all you can do is just to acknowledge the power and the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and praise him with all of your heart. And this is the catch for you. If you've done all these things and bless God and worship God and acknowledge him as the only savior that can save you and see you through the rest of this year, look at what is going to happen to you in the last verse, verse 8. It says, The Lord will perfect that which concerned me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hand. This is what God is going to do to someone that is listening to me this morning. The Lord is going to perfect that which concerns you even as you go in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord himself will not forget you. Why? Because you are his handiwork. God has engraved you in the palm of his hand. He has your name in his palm of his hand. He has your data in the palm of his hand. He has you in the palm of his hand. If you can just worship and praise the name of the Almighty God, God has you in his hand and he will always hold you. I want to tell someone listening to me this morning that God is a God that keep his word. He honors whatever comes out of his mouth more than his name. It is not like you and I. We can make promise today and let it go tomorrow. But God, whenever he says a thing, he brings it to pass. And the word of God is for you this morning. As you go out this morning, the Lord says he will perfect that which concerns you. The Lord says he will keep you. 
the Lord says he will sustain you even till the end of this year. The Lord says he has engraved you in the palm of his hand. The Lord says he will walk on you till eternity. Before that, I want you to first of all think deeply and look at your life. Look at how far God has brought you. The best thing you can give to God is just to give him praise with all your heart. He honors his word more than his name. Then he has promised you that he's going to keep you, he's going to save you, he's going to watch over you till the end of this year, and he is going to keep working on you. But adventure, if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to tell you something. You have a chance this morning so that God can continue to work on you. God can engrave your name in the palm of his hand. God can perfect that which concerns you, even as you go in the rest of this year. God will work on you. You have a chance this morning. Bow your heads with me and let's say this prayer. If you want to receive him into your life, Father Lord Jesus, I confess my sin and forsake them. I believe you died on the cross and rose to save me. Receive me into your soul. Write my name in the book of life and erase my name in the book of death. I will not go back to sin anymore. I will serve you till the end of my life. So help me God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you have said that prayer, congratulations to you. I'm so glad that you said that prayer with me. The Lord Almighty has engraved your name, has engraved you in the palm of his hand. And he's going to watch over you. He's going to perfect that which concerns you even as you go in this week. He's going to perfect that which concerns you even as you go in the rest of this year. Beloved, send me a text or an email on the number and email sharing on your screen right now. And I would love to know you. I would love to pray with you. I would love to send you materials that will help you grow in grace. God bless you. God bless you. Let me pray for you. Every one of you listening to me this morning, that you want God to continue to work on you and you want God to perfect that which concerns you. Father Lord Jesus, I commit your children into your care. Lord, as they go this week, may you continue to work on them in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will never leave them or forsake them. Lord, you will continue to guide them. You will perfect that which concerns them even as they step out of the house today in the mighty name of Jesus. You will perfect that which concerns their work, their children, their family, their endeavors in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will keep them all through the rest of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus because your word said you honor your word more than your name. Lord, according to your word that you will keep them. Lord, I pray may you fulfill that word over this once to this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I want you to go in the grace of God this week and expect God's protection all over you all through this week and the rest of the year and especially the rest of your life as long as you continue to do the will of God. God bless you. I remain your humble friend, Stephen Adikoki. God bless you. See you next week. Bye for now.